working in the fashion and textile industry. Costs have been driven down so much. For the most part, we're paying for goods that are well below the price of what they truly cost. There is practically no one out there that thinks about the environmental impact of the clothes that they wear. Most of our clothing now is made in China and other developing nations that have very poor environmental standards. The textiles industry is one of two of the largest polluters in the world. The textile industry is the biggest polluter of water and also a large consumer. Growing cotton requires a tremendous amount of water. What has happened today is the total destruction of more than 1,500 varieties of cotton. There's only toxic seeds with Roundup Ready genes or toxic seeds with Bt genes. 95% of all genetically engineered seed around the world is Monsanto owned. Use of Monsanto's genetically modified seed does increase herbicide use. America is one of the few places that actually allows unfettered use of genetically modified seed. My husband grew up on a conventional cotton farm and at the age of 48 he was diagnosed with a glioblastoma brain tumor stage 4. Our neurosurgeon said he's diagnosing one of these brain tumors every week. Organic cotton and conventional cotton to me is the difference in life and death. My name is Carl Pepper and uh, I'm an organic cotton farmer in Texas. I can feel good about the crop that leaves my farm not harming anybody. Brands have a responsibility. It's a very exciting opportunity. It only seems right to be as sustainable or eco-friendly as, as possible. I do believe there's a way to make mass production that isn't at the cost of our health. People really won't start buying differently unless the design is great. Consumers get what I put in my mouth, that organic apple has a direct impact on my health, where they haven't got to the point that what I put on my body impacts me too. I really think that people would, would spend a little bit more money if they knew it was really affecting their health. Consumers are becoming more green and more aware. It's not all grim, there are possibilities. It's just awareness, and if there's awareness, then we can find a solution. I think we have a long way to go. It's retailers, manufacturers, the consumer. This is something they need to be looking at. I absolutely, unequivocally believe this is the future of fashion.